What, what up, up fam? fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dale. And I'm Jess. And before we get into much day, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Yeah. Babe, let them know what we finna eat today. We got two whole rotisserie chickens. One with just some uh, lemon pepper and we got a hot Cheeto rotisserie chicken and some, we got some uh, salad, some Hawaiian rolls in the bike and some cheese. We finna get in. Yep, cause we hungry. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Grab your plate, come on, let's eat. Oh, go back. What y'all think about that? That's that, that's gonna be our our motto, so that everybody know. Hey, that was not, babe. Don't come in empty-handed. Your plate is your entry fee. Yes, yeah, because a lot of, a lot of people been saying, "Oh, y'all make me so hungry. Y'all supposed to eat with us. This is family dinner." So that's why you're hungry, cause I got my plate, but she ain't got yours. Mm-hmm. So we just gonna have a warning. It's too good. The salad is off chain. I really wanted some salad. What better than with chicken? Yes. Great pair. Especially about tissue with chicken. I wanna taste a piece of the hot Cheeto. Chicken first. What piece do you want? It, whatever piece you give me. Let us know how you're doing down below. That's a big old piece. Y'all get the first bite of that uh, hot Cheeto chicken. You can taste it better. Oh, the cheese got cold. <coughs> uh oh. Did you choke it on the dust? Went down the wrong pipe. Be careful, man. Well, it's still look good, though. It's good, though. Yeah. I can't really put my. I feel like I can take away the hot Cheeto flavor. <coughs> you okay? There it is. It looks like some dust was sitting on the back of my throat. Mm. Yeah, the hot Cheeto salad. I just said, you know what? Just going down the same pipe anyway. Yeah. Y'all. That, uh. Drumstick challenge. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even doing a challenge. But just watching everybody's video. Mm, boy. I'm glad I wasn't alone. <clears throat> Maybe I should have waited till the day. Drum was kind of thick. You also really got to be in the mood for drums as well. Mm -hmm. To sit down and smash them like that. So when your feng shui gets interrupted, you're like, you know what? <laughs> Just gonna agree to say, I ain't take the W this time. Mm -mm. I knew I couldn't do it. My hat's off to be low <laughs> for her 16. And Bucky. For the 20 and under 20. Yes. Mm. 
He even said I would not. Recommend trying to hit 20. Mm-mm. Just insane. Well, since we didn't get to finish our uh, community tab questions, because the kids came in. That would be something good to do. Mm hmm. Listen. They're right here too good. Uh, both of you guys are great cooks for both of you. Who taught you how to cook and what was the first thing you ever cooked? Hmm. Throughout my life, cooking was a necessity. Cooking was a necessity in order to survive. However, I didn't have a lot of people teaching me, like, I eavesdrop in the kitchen. Everywhere I went, everywhere I went, so I can gain knowledge, practice. Um, first thing I ever cooked, ooh, it was a boiler of rice for my younger sister, Christavia. Really? Yep, boil the rice. My grandma taught me how to cook. My, well, my great grandma. Ever since I was like, at least five years old. But the first thing I cooked was, or did I learn how to cook? Well, pretty much both was fried chicken. And that's one of the main things that people love for me to cook. Fried chicken. So that's why I enjoy <clears throat> what we do with the mukbangs and whatnot. Because I didn't have a lot of variation in food growing up. It was eat what you eat to survive. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So mukbangs like they show different options, different things you may never have thought of, but once you try it, mm -hmm. like, oh snap! Well, now that was it. Mm-hmm. Like this hot Cheeto chicken. For the time invested. Oh, excuse me. It's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Like $10 for two. <clears throat> Somebody asked, was this a um, birthmark in my hand? And I actually story did a story time. Yeah, I did a story time on it. But long story short. You catch up on new people. <laughs> no, it's not a birthmark. When I was like uh, two years old, I got burned. I touched the uh, either an iron or a curl iron. I don't remember the story, but I had to get a skin graft. So, uh, pretty much all the skin of my hand was burned. So they took the skin from my hip and put it on my hand. So yes. Well, so no. <laughs> it's not a birthmark. But it hit so hard, I'm like, I might finish the whole rotisserie today. 
This is really good. Too good. I have a question for you guys. <clears throat> How many of you grew up in either a one parent household? Well, you're gonna grow up in one of these, but one parent household, two parent household, or not a parent. And so I just comment one, two, or three. I had two, but I had my mom and my stepdad. What did you just see? Who had? <coughs> Yours plunked away. I should be more clear. Like, by lost parents. Mm. Are you what you're saying? Because in that I was gonna also ask like in this video like how did your step parents treat you? Like did you feel the breast? Chicken this, breast there you go. This meal period. Is it You said you should have been clear about the question. What you really meant. Instead of the one, two, three. What I meant is the household you grew up in, was it with one of your biological parents, both of your biological parents, or neither? Hmm. Because I was gonna you that also talk about an ex, okay? Growing up with whoever it was that raised you, did you feel included? Did, or like if they had kids and or if you lived with your grandparents or aunt, uncle, mm -hmm. anything like that. You can still live with both parents. <clears throat> and feel like that. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. This gonna be like a pregnancy crazy ordeal. One more time, I'll be right back. We back. We had to go uh, make us some salads. Get some more chicken. And base break up hot Cheeto dust in his salad, y'all. I don't know what he got going on. Oh, and I got that last but scoop. It had some hot Cheeto dust in it. And it was good. Let me see. Mm hmm. Do you, boo boo? Do you? Saw the gun chicken jumping out of it. Whoop, whoop. Jumping out of my hand. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. I had. Me, my mama, my stepdad, and my sisters. So I always felt like the eye balled out. I feel like my stepdad tried, but. Could have been better. Mm hmm. He could have tried a little harder. So, I just try to be the best step parent and make sure our kids don't feel no different. They don't feel the feelings that you felt growing up. Mm-hmm. Because it's hard. It was hard. Mm-hmm. Feel like don't nobody, don't nobody rock with you, don't nobody love you. 
the why me or it really don't be feeling like people dealing with you just because they have to i can don't really feel genuine instead of i love mm -hmm. not every not everybody like that but i had a lot of them time mm -hmm. Did you used to go around your step daddy folks? Not very often. It was just him. Mm-hmm. His folks lived around. Mm -hmm. Um there were points in time where periodically here and there we would see him. Like when mm -hmm. I um my eleventh grade year in high school they started um um, some of his relatives started going to school. Thank you. I can't even get it out. With me at high school, in high school. So, I would see them around school, but as far as like outside of school. No, when we, when we first moved to Birmingham. Yeah, when we were standing over in, over in Tisville <clears throat> at first, but. Slack up. That was the only stepdad you had, though, right? Yeah. Man, I'm about to say something. I lost my whole train of thought. Because mm -hmm. the salad is so good. Oh. I was going to say, now see, we went around his family all the time. Or quite often. You really have a good time? Uh, sometimes. It depends on where we was, which relative house we was going to. Mm. And sometimes if it was a holiday and stuff like that. But they was nice. A lot of interaction with like my in laws was on that. I'm good with because I got to. Mm hmm. That feeling is not. I used to always feel like a burden, like. So I do my best. Mm hmm. That's also why I'm, <clears throat> I made it my goal. I really wanted to get married and have children. So my children won't have to feel that. Now, some, sometimes you can feel out of place even in your own, you know. Mom and dad. Mm-hmm. But growing up with both of us in the household. You don't like that man? Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say? But growing up with both of us in the household, <clears throat> unless we just both fall off of the same page. Then our kids shouldn't, they shouldn't grow up to feel out of Damn. place or am I loved. They won't struggle with how to express their emotions, mm -hmm. with how to voice their concerns. I'm just gonna make sure that I show them that I love them. Instead of saying it. Yeah, we had a lot of saying it. And gave each other hugs and we used to do all that type of stuff, but still actions speak dying words. Yeah. So come to my arms in the war day. Mm-hmm. Come to my ROTC drill me. 
Mm-hmm. Support me, period. Even if it's not what you what you want for me. I want to go off school. No, you, well, just, you gotta stay here and watch your siblings. I was saying, unless it's just like crazy. Now if I go out here and be like, hey, I'm gonna be doing something crazy. That's a good question. Name something crazy that your child would would have to tell you they want to do for you to not support them. Mm. I don't think it'd be an issue of not support with me. I think unless it's something that's like <clears throat> life threatening. If I feel it's the wrong thing, I can strongly advise against it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna make my child feel that I don't support them because that's when they start communicating with you. Yeah, but it's gotta be something you. Um, hey, Dad, I'm gonna be a bank robber or a cop killer. I said unless it's life threatening. You did. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. But life threatening covers a lot of things. That's why I said specifically life threatening because that's about okay. a violent and dangerous thing. Well, I'm trying to think of something that's not life threatening that I could, that I have would be like, no. I'm not down with that whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you my son, you my daughter, but I'm not down for that. Period. That's enough for me. I can't think of anything though. Y'all did us something. Mama gonna be a corner boy. You got me bent. No, sir. I wanna be a corner boy, okay? I'm gonna cone these four fists outside your head. <laughs> Better beat you into a coma. <laughs> Cause I know all these sacrifices I made <clears throat> so that you have choice, excuse me, and options. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna piss them away like that. You talking about a cone boy? I'm gonna cone you, alright? <laughs> That's cool. I don't wanna eat another drum here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, excuse me. Definitely let us know something down below. That they had I guess we'll call them kid deal breakers. What I did, what I do. About to break the table. Not you can't even say kid deal breakers. Job kid, kid, kid yes, kid profession deal breakers. I say job deal breakers. What profession would you just be like? No, you tripping. I will disown you. That's pretty much what it is. I was gonna say a stripper, but no. I couldn't say that because. Nope. I mean, that's just what I want you doing that. No, but that ain't none of my business. I was gonna say now. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know. Unless you saying I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a stripper and a call guy, call yeah, girl. Yeah. Okay. Then we got in here. Cause that day. Y'all will be glad this apparently really ten o'clock. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> Mama, I wanna be a. <laughs> It was a long time ago. I was a <laughs> and mom admitting it. But like you said, that's life. <laughs> that's life threatening. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't think of nothing that's not life threatening. Because the Johns killed him. The pimps killed him. Mm-hmm. Other girls killed him. Mm-hmm. That's dangerous. 
But more of the story is, we want to try to give them as much support as we can, I even if it's not support. what we want. I feel like a lot of times people feel like when their kids are born, it's their time to live through their kids and let their kids do the things that they want to do what they yes, like or take the path that they meant to take or wanted to take but you can't you cannot at that point you're trying to get out of my life yes i'm my own person i have to make my own decisions um stay my own pitfalls now can i be inspired yes Yes, can I follow your footsteps? Yes, but not under, you know, not feel like you pushing me to. Like you already have a plan. That was the plan you wanted for yourself that you trying to make mm -hmm. me embark upon. You had me and automatically it's like, oh, I got the plan. I got the sauce, I got the recipe. <laughs> I'm getting that hot Cheetos chicken was so good. That chicken was good, period. That part. And these rolls. I really wanted some Hawaiian rolls. When my little lady friend comes to visit for the bunt, I'm usually not a person that have cravings, but this time, it was just off the chain. It was like I was pregnant. But I mean. Don't tell them that. What? Oh, because they're going to swear I am. <laughs> Don't start that, y'all. We had y'all one baby. Slow your up. Y'all got to take care of this one first. <laughs> let him get let him get out of premium diapers at least. <laughs> oh. Let him take his first steps. We gotta do our shout outs. Yes. Because we've been here a while at this point. Okay. Well, we are. Okay, real quick before <clears throat> the camera cut, before the camera cuts off, we're gonna do our fam shout outs. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, notification shout out goes to Riri, Riri Morris, Morris, Destiny Show, mm -hmm. and Kia for Quick. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all for uh, coming on by with that. Notification comment. Mm hmm We appreciate that. So we got Monique plays. X Monique plays. X Monique plays. Sam, Sam Ward and LSF3. Shout out to y'all. We appreciate you guys for not only showing up when the video dropped, but watching the video and leaving us a comment. To let us know you watched it. Yes, if you want to shout out like them, all you gotta do is subscribe, hit that bell, come on in when we post a video, and I leave guess. us some comments down below. And say, until next video, fam. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs>